Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to log into Google Classroom. Uh, you will have been given three bits of information, your username, your password and your class code. And I'm going to show you how to use those bits of information to go in and do your first assignment. So the first thing you want to make sure you've done is to sign out of any Google accounts that you're currently logged into. So I'm just going to check up here and I'm going to sign out. Now what you're going to do is you're going to type in uh, classroom.google.com up in the web address bar. And hit enter. And now it's going to ask you for your username and this will be uh, an email address um, at edu.colville.rbkc.sch.uk. So this is my one and if you hit next now it's going to ask you for your password. It's really important you don't share your password with anyone else so they can't access your account and any of your work. Now once you've logged into Google Classroom for the first time, you'll notice that you're not actually assigned to any classes yet. And this is where that third bit of information comes in handy, the class code. So if we press up on the add symbol up here, we can create or join our first class. And we're going to join a class. So if we hit add and we select join class, it's now going to ask for that class code which was sent to you in an email. You're going to type in that class code and you're going to hit join. So now once you've joined your class, you'll see that your class is here. And you can just press on your class name and you'll go inside. Now the first thing you're going to notice is the stream. And your stream will show any messages or videos or assignments that your teacher has set for you. So I can go down here straight away, I can see uh, that I've got a welcome video. So welcome to Google Classroom, please watch this video to introduce yourself to this new learning environment. So I can see there's a video here, I can just press it here um, and I could just press play. This one's a video I've put in as an example. Now this is just a, a video to be watched, this isn't something that I have to respond to, but if we go down here we can see actually that we've got a new assignment. So it says that our teacher has posted us a new assignment and this is a science one and it's about the water cycle. So what I can see, there's a video down here, so I could choose to watch the video. Um, and you can see here it says that it's been assigned. So this means we haven't actually completed it yet, because if we had done it would tell us there. So what I always suggest is first you press the title of the assignment to actually open up that assignment. Now when we go inside, uh, there's a few things. So we can see we've got a bit of text here from the teacher explaining what the lesson's about. And then we've got any attachments. So it could be um, a PDF of maybe some work, um, or a video about the topic you're learning about. It may also be a video of your teacher explaining some of the concepts that you're learning about. Now, if we go over, look over this area here, this is really important for us as students because this is our work. And as we can see, this work has been assigned. So this means we haven't actually completed our work yet. Now let's see what it is that it's asking us to do. It's saying, can you draw, color, and annotate the water cycle? We could do this as one picture or a cartoon strip or any other creative way that we prefer. So it's up to us how we present our work and how we send it back to our teacher. So we could do this with pencil and paper. We could do it with felt pens and an A3 piece of paper. Um, we could build it out of plasticine. We could do a short video using our family as helpers. It's up to us how we present that information. We could do it digitally. So we could create it using Google Docs or Google Slides or something like that. You could also, if you're more familiar, you could create a PowerPoint. So if you go up to here where it says your work, here we can actually add something. So we may have taken a photo on our phone and uploaded that photo to our Google Drive or maybe we sent it to ourselves in an email and we've saved it on the computer. So there's lots of different ways of doing it and I'll be showing you some of those different methods in some other videos. But for now, let's assume that we've got our photo onto our computer. So here it says your work, we're gonna add and I'm gonna add a file because I completed my water cycle diagram using felt pens and paper and I took a photo of it and I've emailed it to myself. So if I hit file, now I can select from where I'm gonna find this file. And I know I want to upload a file from this device. So you may have some work on your Google Drive, uh, especially if you've created any of that work using one of the Google apps. But I know I'm gonna upload my file from this computer. So I'm gonna hit select files from your device and I'm gonna to navigate to where I've saved my photo. Now here it is, water cycle photo. If I hit open and now I can hit upload. Now 
and it's just uploading now and once that purple bar stops moving now that's my piece of work there so all I have to do now is press turn in which just means to hand in or to give my work back to my teacher so if I hit turn in so it's now asking me am I sure I want to turn in my work with this one attachment water cycle photo and that is what I want to do so I'm going to hit turn in great and I can check that I've actually handed my work in if I go up to the top right again where it says your work I can see that it says turned in here so I could go back up to here and I could see if I've got any other assignments as you can see it's telling me that I've turned this one in if you're not sure if you still have any assignments you need to do then if you go to the top of your class page you'll see here that it says there's no work due soon or if I go to classwork I can see that I haven't got any other assignments that I need to complete if you wanted to check when some things were due, you could actually use the calendar function here inside Google Classroom and you could have a look when different assignments are due to be handed in. So I can see here that on Friday my science assignment is due in, but I already know if I press on this that that's the assignment I've just completed. So you'll notice the Google Calendar has opened in a new tab here, so I can just close that tab and I'm back to my class. So that's the end of our tutorial about logging into Google Classroom for the first time and completing your first assignments. We're going to be producing some more tutorial videos, including how you can do all of this on a smartphone. So look out for those and we look forward to seeing you in Google Classroom.